Hello guys, this is Damian from forexball.com and welcome back to our video examples on the live forex trading account. We remind that the trades you see here are with and only educational purpose. So currently we're looking at the 15 minute chart of the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair. When we zoom out the chart, we see recent tops of the price action that help us build the bearish trend line you see over here. As you see, the price has created a nice and steady bearish impulse. However, this impulse ends up with a hammer reversal candle. <coughs> this is a candle that is known to have strong bullish potential of the chart when it comes after a bearish trend. For this reason, I can use this candle to open a long trade and to trade a price correction to the already created yellow bearish trend line. But first I will need to see a candle closing above the body, the upper body of the Hammer Reversal candle. If this happens, I will buy the American dollar Japanese yen for pair on the 15 minute chart placing a stop loss order below the lowest part of the hammer candle taking the lower candle wick and trading until the price action reaches the already established yellow bearish trend line this will be approximately a trade for about For about maybe about 10 pips on the American dollar Japanese yen chart. Furthermore, the trade will not be expect to take a lot of time, meaning that this will be rather a scalping trade, because I assume that the price action will take like no longer than an hour or maybe a couple of hours or maybe three hours until the potential of the hammer reversal candle is completed. So what I'm going to do now, I will mark the Hammer candle for you with this circle over here, this ellipse. So you will have a better picture of which is the candle. So if the price closes a candle above the Hammer, the body of the Hammer, let's say it will happen approximately at 113.64. We will buy the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair, placing a stop loss order below the lowest part of the lower candle wick on the chart, somewhere near 113.54, and trading until the price reaches the yellow bearish trend line. If this happens instantly, this means that this area of the trend will be reached. So the, the quicker the price reaches the yellow bearish trend, uh, the more the profit from the trade will be. After all, the inclination of the trend is downward, meaning that the more time the trade takes, the, the smaller target we will pursue. So the thing is to be very flexible with your trade, meaning that we should, I should constantly monitor my trade in order not to skip the right moment to close it. The moment when a candle touches the yellow bearish trend will be taken as an exit point on the chart. But first, what we need is to see a candle closing above the upper body of the hammer reversal. This candle will be taken as a confirmation, meaning that we will use the moment to immediately buy the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair. As I said, the stop loss order will be placed below the lowest candle wick, the lower candle wick of the hammer reversal, somewhere near 113.54, and we will trade until the yellow bearish trend line is reached. When we zoom out the chart, we notice that the price action is creating something like a bigger pattern. Not sure if it's if this is a, 
a falling wedge, or maybe it's a bearish channel. Anyway, in both of the cases, we will have sufficient reason to believe that the price is likely to correct to the upper level of the pattern, which we have marked as a yellow bearish trend line. As you see, that line goes through the recent tops of the price action, which is the reason to take this line as a target. Okay, let's mark the upper body of the hammer candle over here, or even slightly lower. Let's be precise. Okay, so if this candle closes above 113.6627, we will buy the American dollar Japanese yen, placing a stop loss order below the lowest the lower candle wick of the hammer reversal and trading until the upper level of the pattern this pattern is reached as i said we're still not familiar if this is a if this is a falling wedge or it's a bearish channel but no matter what pattern this is we're trading a correction anyway so our target will pretty much be the same Okay, candle closed above the hammer, meaning that we're immediately buying 0 0.5 lots. Okay, placing a stop loss order below the lowest. Uh, below the lower candle wick of the hammer. Let's adjust it, be precise, zooming in the chart, stop loss order should be somewhere over here. Okay, now I suggest that we pause the video, but uh, I mean I will keep observing my trade of course, and uh, I will get back to you when uh, we have results on this trade. Okay guys, we're back about 10 minutes, 10 minutes later to see that the price has increased above our entry point, meaning that we're now on profit. Uh, however, this distance is still not enough to adjust our stop loss order since we have spread requirements with our broker. And uh, I came back to you to, ooh, that's a jump, to tell you that I intend to place a take profit order. Uh, near the trend line just give me a second uh, near the trend line of the on the chart which we intend to use as an exit point of our trade okay and I'm doing this in case the price does a big jump and touches the trend instantly uh, and to be able to close the trade immediately but uh, if a candle closes if a candle closes before the take profit line is reached this means I would adjust the stop loss uh, the take profit order lower because since the time passes by the trend line goes lower and lower and our target goes lower and lower as well Let's see how things will go. Also, we can use the five minute chart to position the take profit order in a better way. I think this is a better solution since the five minute chart gives us a, bit, a better picture of, of where the trend line is compared to the current price action. The one minute chart will give us even better picture, but uh, we're still pretty zoomed in over there. Yeah, that's okay. As you see, the trend, the take profit order is below 
the yellow bearish trend in the current moment. Now switching back to the 15 minute chart. Yeah, maybe the price will correct again before attempting another run. So I will pause the video now again and I will I will get back in 7 to 10 minutes to see what is the second candle doing on the chart and if the trade is still open meaning that the take profit and the stop loss are not hit I will adjust the take profit order one more time lower in order to conform to the downward move of the bearish trend line Okay guys, we're back 10 more minutes later to see that the price action has closed the candle, uh, meaning that uh, we see the action switching to the right. Uh, this means that the trend line now acts lower. And for this reason, I will adjust our take profit order lower, like this, uh, because I would like to conform to the bearish trend line that is decreasing on the chart and to avoid a situation where the price action touches the trend line but not the take profit line which is slightly higher than the, the bearish trend this is just an example of a you know proper uh, trade management rules on the chart and uh, this is an example that uh, every trader should be flexible when managing his trade and every trader should conform to the situation on the chart as you see I adjusted my take profit order to be able to to hit the right target on the chart because if I aim higher, there is a big chance that I don't hit my take profit line, meaning that the trade might go in a completely different direction, which is something I would like to avoid. Notice that the more the trade goes to the right, I mean, the more the price action goes to the right, the more the lower the trend line goes, meaning that the lower our target will be. This is a normal event when trading corrections because we're currently in a correction trade as you see this is the bearish trend impulse and the hammer candle gave us a signal that a correction is coming so corrections are tricky and you should be a skillful trader in order to trade corrections successfully and this is why I decided to do this video for you and to show you how to manage your trade in your take profit order when you're trading a correction and when your target is located at the trend line so now let's pause the video one more time and come back in 10 minutes approximately to see if the take profit order is already hit or we would need to adjust the take profit order one more time in order to conform to the fact that the trend line is bearish and the target goes lower And about 10 more minutes later, we come back to see that our take profit order is still not touched on the chart, meaning that we need to adjust. Uh, we need to adjust it in order to conform to the yellow bearish trend. Uh, let's use a smaller chart to do this. For example, one minute chart I think is okay. Let's zoom out. And again. This is the take profit order and this is the current level. The take profit order is still below the trend line, but I would like to adjust it slightly. Because uh, in many cases there are situations where the price action reaches the area of the trend, but not touches it completely. So we just need to see price interaction with the, with the area around the yellow bearish trend. The good thing is that the one on the one minute chart we notice a price tendency in bullish direction, meaning that a bullish impulse is on its way now. 
which supports our theory that the price will keep increasing, reaching maybe the our take profit order, which is now at 113.75. 13.75, yeah, exactly. Going back on the 15 minute chart, zooming in, following the situation over there. Okay, let's pause the video one more time and we will come back later to see if the price action has hit our take profit order or if it's close to our take profit order uh, we will then see if the trade has been closed by itself or if another candle closes supporting the sideways move we will again adjust the stop loss order slightly downward uh, in order to conform to the bearish inclination of our yellow trend line. Okay, guys, we're back 10 more minutes later to see that the price action has reached our take profit order, which was located at, at 113.75. Right over here, we entered the market at 113.67 meaning that we stayed on the trade in the trade for this distance that equals uh, about 8 pips on the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair so these 8 pips equal to approximately 0.07% profit uh, for our bankroll and uh, for the buying power we used to the amount we invested in the trade Meaning that the trade is 100% uh, successful. We stayed in the trade for approximately 45 minutes. And having in mind the small amount we scalped, uh, this, this uh, places the trade among uh, the scalp trade family. So thank you very much for watching. This was Damian from ForexBolt.com. Looking forward to see you on the next Forex trading session. And until then, I wish you happy trading.